Hi, welcome back to the Rainmaker YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make a cannon. If you've been worried about how to hand out Halloween candy this year, that's why I built this. You could just leave a bowl out, but that's boring. You want something fun. And what kid doesn't like getting candy shot at them? <laughs> Stick around and I'll walk you through how I built it. To build the wooden base sections, I used one six foot one by six, cut it half. I also used two six foot one by fours. I cut two 30 inch pieces from those two 12 inch pieces and two 10 and a quarter inch pieces. Parts for our first base are cut. The one by six, I've got two three inch chunks, three inch, three foot chunks. A three inch chunk wouldn't do me any good. And then I've got three one foot chunks of the one by four to go between these like this. We want to attach this here, but you don't want to just put a screw right through there. Because if you do, going into the end grain of this board, chances are pretty good you're gonna split this. So what we're gonna do is set these up, get them clamped so they stay in place. Then we're gonna pre-drill a hole and then drive the screw in so that we don't run the risk of splitting this board and having to deal with that problem. We'll use the same method to build both bases, this larger base and the smaller base. And once we have them built, we'll clamp them together using a shim, which happens to be a big paint stir stick, to fill that gap so that when you're clamping them, you don't distort the inner base or the outer base by trying to clamp that gap closed. And then you just drill a hole as straight as you can right through there. So the base is as good as we want to get it right now. We want to start working on the tube and for this this thing picks up a lot of dust but what we want to do is we want to put slots down either side of this so that they can have bolts coming out of our cup so that we can pull this back and then have those bolts be sticking out so it kind of acts like a rail to guide it so to do that we want to make sure that it's like straight across. And I've got a cinder, cinder, center finder. I can just mark like that. If you don't have one of these, this has a, the outer dimension as four and a half inches. So if you just put it flat on a table and then just measure up from the table two and a quarter inches and just mark that on either side, that'll give you a perfect cross section. So now I'm going to transfer these marks three inches and three inches on this side. What we'll do is we're essentially just going to cut a slot down here to three inches from the side. These are the bolts that we're going to use to pull the thing back, pull the cut back. They're three quarter or three eighths, three eighths inch bolts. So I'm gonna use half inch drill bit, drill a hole on each side and then we're gonna use the jigsaw again to connect the dots and get a slot. That's the plan anyway, let's see how it goes. So that's where we wanna drill our hole. I'm gonna start not with a half inch bit, I've got my half inch drill bit here but I'm gonna start it with a brad point bit so that I can start right where I want without it walking around on me. Because if I just try to start with this, with the shallow angle on there, it's gonna try to go all over the place. So if I start with this, I can get it into the pipe and then I don't have to worry about it trying to shift on me as I drill. Just 
and big in this hole with the bigger drill bit. Like so. And in theory, yeah. So this time we're gonna make him work and I get to talk and just stand here. So instead of just rambling on about other things that you're gonna see happen anyway, I wanted to talk about my Patreon. I have a Patreon page. I don't really push it out there all that much. I probably should. Otherwise, what's the point of having it? But I have it. So if you wanna help support my channel and what I do, you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. And I have exclusive hollow stickers check those out that only get out sent out to my patrons over there on patreon no matter what level you back me at so if you want one of these that's how you get one and i also have a goal on patreon set up if i hit 10 patrons in a month not 10 new patrons but 10 total patrons the month after i do that i'm going to do a drawing and give away one of my pens so if you want to come join the fun little community I have over there, you should do so. Also, instead of having patrons just on the screen, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to my patrons. Patrons over on Patreon. Stephen Huber, Tiffany Ofler, Jeremy Hopkins, and Joe Smith. Four people. You could be the fifth. Come join us. Okay. Let's wait for this doofus to finish up. And we'll move on to the next part. Which, what is... I think the next part, I don't know what we're gonna do next. I think I'm gonna go have lunch while he's doing that. So, okay. Yeah, you hurry up, let me know when you're done. So our pipe is prepared. It's got slots on each side. Now we just need the actual cup that's going to slide in there. And again, we've got the PVC cap for a three inch pipe that will fit in there. We just gotta sand off this little nubbin. So I'm gonna take it over to my disc sander and do that. But it's not very much on there, so if you have files or even like a random orbit sander, anything like that, just a little bit of work, we'll get it cleaned up. ended up taking out the middle one because I don't think it was totally necessary and it made it much easier to just attach this to these two and we're in good shape and to attach it I just drilled a hole straight through put a bolt got a wing nut on either end that should hold it in place just fine and it's not going to interfere with the cup moving back and forth because it's all the way at the front and all the way at the back so while I had the tube out of there, I also installed these eye bolts in the sides. That's where I probably should have gotten smaller eye bolts because like, I went all the way through before I even realized it, but that's all right. So now I actually need to take the cup back out of here. As it is, the cup doesn't have a way to get pulled back. So just drill a hole right in the center of that cup and use an eye bolt through there that we can pull it back with. And to get the rubber hose attached, I just use these zip ties. If you crimp them down tight enough, they seem to hold just fine. So, so far so good on those. The theory is solid. Execution, not so much. I was pulling it back, releasing it after tweaking the bands a little, 
and the force of it coming up pulled the PVC pipe completely off of these bolts. Like it busted through the front of the wood here and it broke the PVC on the back part back here. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these eye screws here and replace them with these bigger bolts that will go from the PVC to here. And then they will serve as the band connection points and a way to keep this tube in place. What I wanna do next is I want to turn this around. As I pull back on this, obviously if it was just like this, it wouldn't be a problem pulling straight back, but we're gonna want this up at an angle. And what I was doing is I was using this as kind of like a pulley so that I could pull this direction and it would pull down, but I could pull back. But where this is located doesn't work. So I am gonna have to use an actual pulley and I want this probably to hang kind of like that. I just haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. And I think that's the next problem to solve. So I'm gonna ponder that and I don't know, I'll either let you watch me ponder it or I'll just skip to when I haven't figured out. I figured out what to do with the pulley. I attached it to my axis here so that it will remain in line with the tube. So as the tube pivots on the axis, it moves the axis, so it'll keep it there. So that when it's up at this angle, this still pulls, even if I'm pulling like up, it's still pulling straight down. When I had it just wrapped, or when I had the rope wrapped around the axis without the pulley, it was pulling like this way as it was trying to get around here. But now this moves it just enough so that it's pulling straight back, no matter the angle. So with all that worked out, now it's time to finally get the bands attached again. And you can see I wrapped electrical tape around the bolts because I didn't want the threads of the bolts cutting into the bands. So that electrical tape is just to protect those. And then it was just a matter of using zip ties and getting it all tied up again. So that's that, that's the candy cannon. Um, I'm no engineer, obviously, by how I built this thing. So there's probably simpler and easier ways to do what I did, but this works, it's functional, and it launches candy about 20 feet, so it's all I need. Um, and shooting it a few times, this back brace down here that it's attached to cracked the wood split from the force of it getting pushed forward, just like this one did before. So I don't know, well, I, I don't have any more six inch bolts like this, otherwise I'd just use those back here also, but it's fine. It's, it cracked pretty early on in the shooting of it, so I think it'll be fine. I just reinforced it and I screwed the piece back in. Either way, it's held in place up here too, so I think we're gonna be fine. I don't have a better way aside from clamping it right now to hold it at whatever angle you want. So, I mean, it's fine because you can just loosen the clamp, adjust it so that you can aim how you want. And then you just need something heavy on the front of it, otherwise once you start pulling it back, the whole thing's gonna wanna lift up. Yeah, pretty fun project. This, a lot outside my comfort zone here. But if you wanna build something like this, I'll have a link in the description to all the tools and materials that I used, as well as a link to, there should be, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, I'll have plans ready for it. 
so you can get the lengths and all that. I added just some, cut off the corners a little bit just to make it look cooler and then painted it again, just to make it look cooler. It would have worked without all that, but if you can make it look slightly cooler, why not do that? All right, if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up, subscribe to see more videos. If I have time, I might build one more candy launcher before Halloween, if I have time. So if you wanna see whether or not to do that, be sure to subscribe and share this video with people you think you might like it. That's all the normal video maker hawking stuff. So get that out of the way. And yeah, I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play with my cannon some more. We <laughs> <laughs>